Welcome back to the show. Thumbs up from Kyle. Thumbs up from me. All right. For the past four years, my next guest has been a meteorologist at WSAZ. Plus, she's entertained everyone in the tri-state by performing in more concerts and plays than you can count. Or you're she just too lazy to count. Knock it off. She's a re she recently got a job with Fox Ono in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Please welcome Marina Jerica. There we go. Marina, thank you for coming on the show. You remember Kyle? Yes, I do. How are you? I guess hug. I have to give you a hug, too. Uh, definitely. Up, did. Up, up, up. I will give you one anyways. Uh, every <laughs> guest. Stop and it. here, I will give you one. Too. Oh, there you go. Hey, there we go. this is my first. I'm feeling the love. Yes. <laughs> you know, actually, I think we made a joke last time about us, and, and my wife doesn't watch the show, so if you want to go backstage, and no, we're not going to get into it. That's yes, horrible. I think I was playing with your tie and bringing you a little closer. Like Careful. This. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what she asked me before we went on the went on just a minute ago. <laughs> yes, we can leave that out. Yeah. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank Minneapolis, you. Minneapolis, Minnesota's market 15, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Are you nervous? Are you scared? Uh, the only thing I'm a little nervous about is forecasting for the upper Midwest. I've never forecasted for that area before, but my best friend is a meteorologist in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, which is about two, hour we two hours west, so she's just going to help me out. Once I get my bearings, I'm sure I'll be just fine. Negative 25 degrees, usually there over the winter. That's the only thing I'm a little nervous about, being the California girl that I am, but uh, I think it'll be great because I love snow forecasting, so I think it's going to be right up my alley. Negative 25 <laughs> degrees. There's no chance. There's no little chance. <laughs> Maybe if I had a beard like Kyle's. No, not at Does all. Does it right? help keep you a little warmer? Uh, no? I'm just naturally hot. Oh. oh, we worked that one in. Should have put that one in the teleprompter. <laughs> Boom. Thank you, Kyle. Boom. Thank you. Well, we were joking before you came out that, I mean, that's one thing you did do while you were here. You performed in so many different concerts and different performances. Mm -hmm. How many have you done? Well, we talked about this a little yeah. bit before, and I just sit there and actually think about it. Um, I did six musicals. I sang with the Huntington Symphony Orchestra six times, Tommy Money Orchestra twice. So probably about 15 to 20 performances here, which was wonderful because I really wanted to impact the area mm -hmm. with arts and bring a love for the arts and a passion for the arts back to the region. And even with the Huntington Symphony Orchestra having so many financial problems right now, we've done everything we can to try to get the word out there to get their sponsorships up again because arts is one of the most important things in a community. Without arts, it really wouldn't be a city. Without so. arts, we wouldn't have our show, right? There we go. No, not really. I keep looking at Eric. He's just shaking his head now. <laughs> and you're doing a farewell concert April 11th. I Paramount am on Monday, Ashland. April 11th. Tommy Money Orchestra called me up and asked me to do a farewell concert. Concert, and it was just so sweet of them because I only performed with them once before this at Valentine's Night at the Mountain Arts Center. So they got a gig for me at the Paramount Arts Center in Ashland and it's at 7.30 on Monday night and I hope that uh, a lot of my fans will be out there. I'll come out in intermission at the end of the show and talk to everyone and, and the best way for me to say goodbye to the people of Huntington who I've grown to love more than you could ever know is to sing to them. And so. you said you might get emotional. I, I know I'm going to get emotional. My husband, he told me you are crazy to sing a farewell concert because I sang my wedding vows to him and that was a disaster. Good. I mean, I, nobody even knew what I was singing because I was sobbing through the whole thing. So I'm sure my encore song will be a little difficult because I picked something that's very close to my heart and I wanted to sing it to the people of the tri-state area and I will be crying, I guarantee it. Well, I tell you what, we did something for Stephanie the past segment and we did the same thing for you. Oh no. We put a little I asked them to get... back there and they said no. Well, they're not supposed to say anything. <laughs> I told them not to. So let's take a look at Marina Jerica. Trying to predict the weather is very difficult, but trying to figure out what Jerry's gonna do next, oh, that's next to impossible. <laughs> Marina Jerica, and for those of you that don't know, she keeps making reference to her husband, and he's here tonight. Jerry, come on over here. <laughs> the, 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 oh, Todd's going to kill you for the, that one. <laughs> there's Jerry T. Troll. I remember you went out on a date with him back in 2007, right? Yes. Jerry the Troll. Yes, Jerry, we go way back. Yeah. How are you, sweetheart? Jerry's seen somebody else, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie's stealing him away. She yeah. wants him. <laughs> Stephanie Shelton coming and grabbing Jerry. That's okay. actually Andrew. No, it's Jerry the Troll. Got, that's, that's, I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. We got tributes and trolls and. That's the name of the show. Tributes and, and Friday Trolls. Friday girl. Who's singing Friday? Is she here? 
Nope. No. no, no thought no. it would work. Marina, thank you very much. Good luck to you in whatever you do, and I'm well, sure you're going to do very well. Thank you so much. I appreciate much. you coming back on the show I, I one can give last you a little, time. Little flavor of what's coming. I don't up see here. why we wouldn't. Okay. Kyle, this is just for me. All right. Sorry, you, you, Kyle. You have step, fun with that. Yeah, step away. I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day, in everything that's warm and gay. I'll always think of you that way. I'll find you in the morning sun, and when the night is no. I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing you. It doesn't get any better than that, Eric. <laughs> I'm sorry about Jerry, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank Marina. You. My next guest here is, is here to perform one of his original songs. You can hear more of his music at myspace.com slash Dylan Reese music. Here's Dylan Reese. Thank you. This night spent without you by my side I never knew that missing you leaves me feeling empty inside Empty inside You took a piece of me as you drove away A piece of me that can never be replaced can never be Promise me that you can be the beating heart that puts me to sleep. And promise me that you can be everything that I will ever Nothing left to hide And if you knew that I miss you Would you miss me too? And if you knew that I love you Would you love me too? And promise me that you can be The beating heart that puts me to Promise me that you can be everything that I will ever can be Promise me that you can be everything that I will ever need. I promise you that I can be the beating heart that puts you to sleep. I 
promise you that I can be everything that I will ever need.